It is Thursday, August 8th. I'm Stephen Graves with your news to go. The National Transportation Safety Board is assisting with the investigation into a deadly crash near Bell Glade. It happened Monday night on Hatton Highway. Nine people, including six children, were killed. One person survived. The NTSB says a preliminary report will be released in the next 30 days. A West Palm Beach mother is in jail on child neglect on a child neglect charge after her toddler nearly drowned. Police say back in April, Francesca Geller's 22 month old son got out of their apartment while she was in the bathroom. Geller found the toddler in a nearby lake. A neighbor performed CPR to save the boy. That toddler remains unresponsive and intubated. Geller admitted to smoking marijuana an hour before the child nearly drowned. The community of East Stewart could soon be listed as a historic place. It was once home to a thriving business and entertainment hub, in addition to churches and community centers. But over the years, many of those businesses closed and some historic buildings were demolished. The city's redevelopment agency asked residents to join its historical advisory subcommittee to protect the community from losing its legacy. The process started back in 2022 and the final application was submitted this past spring. City officials are are hoping to hear a decision from the National Register later this year. Sandra. All right, and weather-wise impact weather situation today due to the extreme heat. Heat advisory up from 10 until 6. You see that yellow weather impact icon up 93 to 95. The actual temperature, it'll feel like 105 to 110 this afternoon with a good chance of storms as well.